As well as looking for the snooker, he's got to make sure he keeps the green safe. <laughs> That's certainly not what he played. He was trying to get in behind the black dirt. And <laughs> he smiles away. <laughs> oh, but they've had a laugh about it afterwards, sir. <laughs> oh. mm. <laughs> no, that's, oh, fellas, just play on, yeah. That's unusual. All right. Uh, this is got a little bit. It looked like it was a bit funny there, but the referee got involved. It's far from funny. Mm, told you there was an edge to this match. He's not a happy person at the moment. So. I know there's not a lot of room around, but uh, mm, I've never ever seen that before in 40 years at the Crucible Theatre. In fact, 41 years now. <laughs> He's staying up this side of the table this time. in a snooker and it's uh, not a straightforward escape. I don't know if he can get around the back of the blue. But there's uh, 29 the difference, so it's two snookers needed. So that was quite a useful fluke on the green. But if he doesn't escape from the snooker, we're back to square one again before the fluke. It'd be one snooker needed, but middle pocket slightly in the way. I'll have to play this with a tracer right hand side to make the angle. I think he's okay, he can just miss the middle pocket and get the brown. You've got the perfect picture there. He's missed it, believe Foul. it or not. Ali Carter, three. Ronnie oh. Sullivan, four. Back to just one snooker needed, and this is a good chance to get in behind the black here. That's too hard, is it? Just a fraction too hard. It was a great chance. <laughs> cool. uh, what a pop that was to secure this frame. So as Ronnie yeah, leaves the auditorium, frame. it's Ali Carter who takes the frame and opens up a three-frame advantage. He's just two away from a place in the quarterfinal.